What's going on guys? It's your boy Jay Will and we're back with another sync banger. Let's get into it. Today we're going to be diving into a very hot topic and that's AI. The robots are going to come for me. Artificial intelligence, generative AI. How is it important? Is it going to affect the sync licensing industry as it is the music industry? Will generative artificial intelligence replace human composers altogether? Oh, bo, bo. Whoa, take it easy. Or is there more to the story? We'll talk about it. Now, while yes, there are a lot of generative music platforms that are using artificial intelligence to create music for commodity needs, but I think that over the the course of the last 20 years, there's been leaps and bounds to make production much easier for the average person anyway, right? You didn't see that coming? Instead of having to know how to engineer, we have AI taking care of a lot of the mixing and mastering that could happen with programs like Lander or Ozone. For instance, like back in the day, it was way harder to produce a song just because you had to hire the instruments, you had to make sure you had all the gear, analog was everything, right? A long time ago. Then we had the, the splice revolution where everybody can pretty much be a producer if you have the correct sonics that you're choosing. And nowadays you have a computer to basically choose the right samples for you. Things aren't how they used to be. Music theory has never been less of a necessity than right now in order to be a music producer. Now, while everyone loves to talk about how the robots are coming, I'm gonna give you four reasons why I personally think that AI is not going to be a one player takes all as far as with how it's going to affect sick licensing. And if you stick around to the end, I always, as usual, have a bonus tip that will help you deal with this change or flip that the industry is going through right now. Again, this is just my opinion and not just some type of passion passionate head in the sand. I don't care what's happening. I'm gonna try to force an abundance mindset situation. Oh boy, happy place, happy place. Yes, AI is very, very cool and is used all the time. Matter of fact, I honestly think that AI has been here for quite some time and we just haven't noticed as much. So let's talk about it. First and most important thing probably is human creativity. Sure, generative AI is very, very impressive when it comes to making music, but it's still based on patterns and algorithms that we feed it. Human composers, on the other hand, bring their own experiences, their emotions, their cultural backgrounds. They're pushing all all this to the center of the table in order to create something really, really cool. Making something truly original that AI can't quite match yet. Anything that AI can do, we fed it the patterns, the information in order to basically copycat. So when it comes to human innovation and emotion, humans still technically have the edge with that. Humanity will win. For now. Second thing, collaboration. This is something that an AI program cannot do unless it's working with a human, right? I personally think that the future of composition and sync licensing specifically is likely going to be some type of partnership between AI and human composers. What do you say, are we partners or what? AI can help generate different ideas. We already do it with random MIDI step sequencers, right? AI can help experiment with new sounds and the humans will be more of the curation process of this is kind of cool, this makes no sense, let's put these things together. And it's even gonna help with streamlining our workflow, which is, I'm all for that. Be stronger, faster, smarter, prettier. But the human touch is still needed to refine and shape the final product into something that everyone's like, yo, this is actually pretty dope because the program, unless we train it, it's not going to know what's good and what's bad. And because culture changes all the time, that's also something a human would have to interact with because it's our job as a composer to make sure that whatever we're creating resonates with the general public. If you're digging this content, let's turn it into a debate. Come on, pal. Come on, fight me. Let me know in the comments how you guys feel about AI versus human composers. I want to hear your thoughts about what you think the future of sync licensing or just music production is with these kind of new tools that we have. Thing number three, and I hate to even say this because it's been part of a debate for robots for a very, very long time, and that's emotional connection. Music is just more than notes and chords, and we don't have to get super spiritual, but it's an art form that speaks to us. Human composers on the regular forge connections and bonds emotionally with their listeners through cultural backgrounds, through human experiences that maybe a select group of people are familiar to, helping tell stories that maybe a lot of people are familiar with, or expressing something that might have just happened in the news. This is something that AI generated songs still struggle with because in sync licensing, making that connection is extremely important to the audio visual experience and helping tell said story that the director wants. Fourth thing that's extremely important that I see AI still playing catch up with is customization and interpretation. In sync licensing, as you may know, music supervisors and music producers or indie artists work very closely together to tailor specific songs to specific scenes in a TV show, movie, video game, what have you. If you're not familiar with that process, check out this video over here. We break it all the way down. Nice and Humans can understand and interpret context much more than your average AI robot, right? If I described a moment to you from a pop culture reference, like describing filler from a Dragon Ball Z episode or the polarization of a color grading effect in a specific movie, you would understand immediately what I'm talking about if you understood the cultural reference. Whereas an AI machine, you'd have to actually reference a lot more information in order for it to understand what you're trying to say. The project's nuances, the, the sonic choices that's 
something that humans have an edge over because it seamlessly integrates with the visual content. That's something that's extremely important in sync licensing. And we made it to the end. So here's the bonus tip. Appreciate you guys for sticking around. If you dig this content, make sure you subscribe below. But the biggest thing that I would suggest that composers, music producers, indie artists try to do as we continue to move into the future with AI being more of a factor with our music process is to start embracing it as a tool. AI is not a threat. It's just a hammer. Use AI generated music to help inspire you just like a sample on a splice pack would. Explore new sounds, push your creative boundaries even. I'm telling you, if it hasn't happened already, by the time you're watching this video, AI has been blended into human composed music for at least the last three, four years now. So let's learn from it and create more music at scale because the need is already there. And if there's any major moves that happen legally as far as with ownership of AI generated music completely, I'll be sure to make a video about that as well. But in the meantime, anything that's computer generated cannot be copywritten. Library of Congress cleared that quite some time ago. So embrace the possibilities, keep making dope music, and I'll see you next time. Peace.